And we have Rudan playing up against Sonic. Players' forces are under attack. All right, here we go. Lower bracket round number one for the GCS Western qualifier. Rudan versus Sonic. Sonic already yesterday was losing to. Damn, who was it? it was Foggy, right? Uh, yep, Foggy. Two zero in the Night of Mirror. And Ruran, he lost himself to Thomas G with 2-1 in the Night of Mirror, obviously. What the fuck is that? Check it out. Sonic dropped his mantle of intelligence here. So he gets mana burned for less? So he takes less damage or what? Alright, this is some next level shit. I've never seen this before. He's hiding some treasure. All right. Rudan here with the cloak, not so great for him either. All right, picks it up now. Let's compare the text, should have started for both, and yes, it has pretty much at the same time. Sonic likes to go for a couple of Huntresses early. Not this time though, not here. Not on Turtle Rock. Between Rudan and Thomas G, we saw a very entertaining Night of Mirror without any bears. But, um, of course, what we expect most in our European Night of Mirrors is those bears. So let's take a look if we see Huntress Halls. It's gonna be time soon. Not quite yet. Boots of Speed and Dust. The way that Rudan played the Demon Hunter to the limit in the Night of Mirrors in China, in Shanghai, was crazy. It was uh, breathtaking and it was kind of anxiety inducing, actually. So he really pushes that guy to the limit. And now, gets out a block that should result in an archer kill. Dust will be required, but the kill is there. And it seems like Sonic was looking for his own set of dust, but no such luck. Alright, Hunter's Hall, there we have the first one, the and... Forces are under attack. Uh, the second one. Alright, it's gonna be a bear mirror, guys. Unfortunately. Five archers for both, as it seems. Um, or is it? No, only three for Rudan, right? We have two, three. Yeah, it's only three for Rudan. Rudan? <laughs> Rudan. And we have to consider that Sonic actually lost one of his archers, so he basically built three more. But Rudan invested a lot more into his Demon Hunter with the boots of speed and the dust of appearance. Sonic not getting any, not purchasing any items. Alright, tier 2 is done, I think. Yep, here we go. Double lore is on their way. Keeper of the Grove for Sonic. And same for Rudan, who's rushing tier 3. Unlike his opponent. No Ultra Vision yet, or has it already been researched? 
Uh, no. Well, Sonic definitely doesn't have Ultra Vision, and yeah, I think Rudan has. Yeah, Rudan Rudan has Ultra Vision. Yeah. So a bit of an advantage there. As finally the tech has started for Sonic as well. A player's forces are under attack. I think Rudan is really good in the bear mirror. Like he utilizes like three bears at a time so well to focus fire on one bear. Even if you don't kill the bear, if you take that one bear out of the fight via staff, suddenly you have a big damage output advantage. Now we have the first few entangles coming in. And if Rudan loses too many archers here, they could run into trouble. Because there's a big number of archers for his opponent. He instead is looking towards uh, finding damage on towards the demon. Is that the... Oh, if he gets another entangle, that's of course gonna be nice and he doesn't use the TP! Losing the first hero! Keeper almost has the mana for another entangle. In like six seconds. Oh man. <laughs> Sonic lost twice yesterday without a single GG. Is it gonna be the same today? On level one though, he's gonna be back very quickly. A player's forces are under attack. And already there is a orb of venom. Really nice against all these archers if he utilizes it correctly. Did Rudan not go for a single dryad? Ah, there we go. Okay. Finally, we do have the first dryad coming in. Talisman. Nope. That's not a good one. Over here we have... Oh, great Rinwall. Fantastic. For Sonic. But Rudan is moving in already. Has a master training. He's faster on tier 3, remember. Has a very small army though, to be honest. There's no staff on Rudan's side. This might be over-aggression. Has to TP out of this, but I think this bear is gonna fall. That was a very questionable attack by Rudan. With only two bears there looking for the engage. And that bear loss, that certainly stings. A player's forces are under attack. All these archers that uh, Sonic was able to keep there, at the moment they're still good. When the bear numbers are so low, it's still very valuable to have this ranged piercing damage. We do have a staff now by Rudan, by the way. However, he only has one single abolish magic, that's also an issue. If he gets rid of the entangle, he can't get rid of the uh, uh, rejuvenation. Whereas for Sonic, we have two Dryads with a grand total of seven dispels. So I think Sonic, despite the bad start, is in a really good position now. They're dancing around the turtle. Good position here for Sonic, has a strong backline. Greater Interval popped already, the last hit goes towards, I don't know, but the item goes towards Rudan. That one bear gets stabbed and saved, getting rid of the Entangle here with the one Abolish Magic he has. He has another one now, by the way. Also dispelling, oh, the, uh, the Reju, but not good enough. Actually, the Mana Burn gets the kill in the end. And Rudan will find a kill himself, but only has one bear left. And still, Sonic with his massive backline. Dispel, and where is the staff? Staff was on cooldown. 53 supply versus 37. Sonic, in this close position, seems to be just powering over his opponent. Oh, and now he can't dispel the Riju. 
He drank from the Moonwell with the dry to spell the region, but it was too late. Invul now on his demon. Needs to get a lot of stuff done. Maybe the hero kill again? TP transfer at the very last second. But still. Sonic with so much supply. 60 supply. Against only 41. Rudan in a ton of trouble. He has three bears here, but that's all he has. He has a fourth one now. Okay. And a dryad coming in. With a good flanking position, maybe this is doable for Rudan, despite the big, big supply disadvantage. These are a lot of them only archers, remember? Oh, but the shop gone so quickly. Takes out the dryad very fast, so that's good. The numbers, man. The numbers seem to be pretty unfair. Good detonate here coming in for Sonic, getting rid of all of this war. Two of the bears quick to die. Only two left now. Oh, the demon in trouble as well. Has to be very, very careful. Could be getting slowed with the dryads. Staff out. Will save him, but where is the army for Rudan? It's just all gone. Bye bye. 29 supply only. GG. And map number one goes towards Sonic. Kind of weird how one side that was all of a sudden. Getting the demon kill looked so good, but he traded it for like three archers or something. But I think the big mistake there was attacking with the two bears, losing the TP from that and losing the one bear and not getting anything in return. All right, second map, next chance. It's gonna be Amazonia. And this is Rudan's choice. Here we go. Switching to red now, maybe that will help him. This map um, pretty much only gives us bear mirror. However, in the early game stages, we can see some variants with a couple of early huntresses thrown into the mix. This seemed to be Sonic's favorite strat in the past. By the way, yesterday, um, Foggy defeated Thomas G twice with hunt play. One time it was Huntress all in. Ancient Protector push, and the other time here in Amazonia it was Huntresses into expansion. But we see the Demon Hunters first here for both heroes. Uh, for both sides, I mean. Neo and myself, we have met both of these guys, um, but independently from each other. We met Rudan at GCS, and we met oh, Sonic twice, actually. We met him 2014, WCA, and 2015. Not 2016, though. 2016, it was Orc Worker and Foggy. WCA.
I'm sure Neo would uh, love to meet Sonic again. Hanging out with Rudan was really cool. He's such a chill guy. I don't know if you guys remember, but he didn't even bring his gear, like his mouse and keyboard. He left at home. When he came to uh, Gamescom in Germany, he accidentally forgot it, basically, because he was coming uh, from vacation. But when he went to Shanghai, he just left it at home on purpose. He was like, yeah, whatever. I don't need it. <laughs> I just use the stuff they have there. And when we were there, he said, yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good mouse, pretty good keyboard. Can't complain. He was never practicing. He was never practicing in Shanghai. Didn't go to internet cafes. Didn't arrive early at the studio. He just played his games. Nothing else. And Foggy, of course, got up at 8 in the morning, went to breakfast and straight to the uh, offices of Inba TV and practiced for like, I don't know, 10 hours or whatever. We asked Foggy to hang out with us and he was like, no, don't have time, have to practice 30 katka a day. But in the end he came around. In the end he, he was hanging out with us, especially in the evening. In the evening when his uh, practice schedule was done, then he did finally <laughs> decide that it was okay to hang out with us a little. Oh, block from the Wisp coming in, but also eating a lot of damage for this. So Moonwell cancelled. Is that gonna be a big deal? I don't think so. Boots of Speed seem to be going towards Sonic here. And over here we have some Wisp and Archer battle going on. Rudan may have denied one of the creeps here. What's the demon doing? I was probably looking for some Wisps. Oh, oh he wants to cancel the Hunter's Hall, but no. Hunter's Hall is in the back here, so he's not forgetting about it. And neither is Sonic. All right. Get settled in, guys. We're going for the bear mirror again. A player's force oh, pretty cool. He attack. wakes up the troll trapper here in hopes of getting the ensnare on the archer. Oh, it's gonna be close. Low damage roll will save her, and it is a low damage roll. Slightly fortunate there for Rudan. How many archers do we have this time? There's one here. And he gets the Shredder! Alright! I almost forgot about this. This is something that the Europeans do. Shredder play. Is he gonna go for two? That would be kind of crazy. A player's forces are under attack. Under attack. Keeper on keeper action again. Last time we saw Rudan rushing tier 3. This time it seems he wants to go for double lore plus keeper first. Well, Lots of stat items for this demon. Attack. Plus 10 strength and plus 4 of the others. Oh, the shadow mode is pretty cool. Giving information here that Rudan is trying to go for the next creep. But the keeper's here now, that greatly limits what the demon hunter can do. Eating the first entangle and quite a few right clicks. But yeah, he's super tanky, man. 900 HP on level 2. Gets the archer here as well with the next entangle. Oh, but the last hit actually goes towards Rudan. Rudan, I don't know why I want to say Rudan, Rudan. But here comes the Keeper, and he has lots of Entangles still left, and Rudan doesn't. Oh, but the Demon is taking quite a few hits, but yeah, man. 900 HP! And he is gonna fall. But the Creep Camp went entirely towards Rudan, denying that one Archer. And the Keeper will be back soon, only level 1. Tier 3 tech comparison, a lot faster for Rudan. Of course, uh, that Shredder was a big, big investment.
All right. We're cruising towards the mid game here. Both players are very low on supply. Only 25. They basically want to produce nothing but bears and maybe a dryad or two. And of course, that takes a while. Pretty late Agent of War movement by Sonic. I think he forgot about this, right? Don't think there's really a reason to have that staying in the main for such a long time. And now, Rudan. Perhaps able to get the next camp here. Ah. The Cobalt will be walking back, though. And we'll be going over towards Sonic. What's the item? Ah, oh, no, the big one's still alive. Never mind. Taking more damage. Staff out will have to come, and that gives the Taskmaster over to the Serbian. Sentry Ward's so good. Places them very obviously, though. At least the first one. Oh! That's a big entangle. Does he have the staff? Yes, he does. Okay. Um, the excitement of Night of Mirror, guys. That's right. So, Master Training. Where are we at? I think he has it. Yeah, he does. Sonic slightly in the supply lead here. And yeah, there's the reveal. That sentry ward was easily dewarded. And here we go. It's gonna be two bears versus two bears. But we have a level 3 demon on the one side. But the level 2 demon is kind of stacked. Staff will save the bear. But I think the dryad will be paying the price. The Iron Price. And again the Sentry coming down in the same position. Level 2 for the Keeper. Is this... That's a big uh, advantage in terms of experience. I was thinking about the creep here, but decided otherwise. Seeing the army coming from the north, thanks to that sentry ward, but now he sees that he's safe to creep this after all. Of course, um, big difference maker here on this map can be this camp. Possible drop of the Scourge Bone Chimes, which are crazy good in this matchup. As far as upgrades go, so far we have none for either of the player. But they're starting to come now. First one on its way for Rudan. And he found the greater Inbol. Fantastic for him. Perhaps he's looking to win a fight in the north to take this camp and then take that one after. Oh, also he found the one of Illusion, by the way, of which he still has two charges. Can be very, very big as well. Sonic is coming from the top, but only three bears. Alright, four bears and the Shredder. Shredder, lots of damage, but a lot less hit points than bears have. How much armor does the Shredder have? Three. Okay, same as bears. Demounted, taking quite a bit of damage, almost getting surrounded. Not really getting surrounded, but taking one hell of a beating. May have to be staffed out. Oh! Where's the dispel? Where's the dispel against the Antangle? The Dryad was too far away, forces the TP. And this should be this camp for free. But here's another Entangle, but the dispel is there. But he's chasing after them. Demon Hunter, very low, has the heal pot, however, should he need it. Illusions in play now as well, driving him all the way back to the main. We have both players now in upkeep. Udan could just decide to creep this. There might not be much that Sonic can do about it. And still the Sentry Ward, giving so much vision. Players' forces are under attack. All right, upgrade-wise, we have one zero now for Sonic as well as for Rudan. Q 
keep very close to three here. Also, we have one scroll of healing and a scroll of protection. Yeah, there's no way that Sonic should win this engagement. Let's see. Here we go. No roar on Rudan's bears. There we go. Using it finally. Only one of them is missing the roar. Scroll of protection coming in as well. No wisps anywhere to detonate these buffs. First bear had to be staffed out for Rudan. We see lots of Riju going on. The Dryad for Rudan actually doesn't have the mana to dispel anymore. Demon Hunter in trouble, but he will be eating the healing potion that keeps him alive. Shredder on the side will be falling. Double level up now for Rudan. Demon Hunter taking a bit of damage, but has the invul and everything's pretty hurt here. The heal scroll is gone already. Can the Demon Hunter for Sonic pick off the pieces? We have one more entangle. There it is. Dispel. Where is the dispel? Where is the dispel? There is no dispel. I think there was no mana. Actually, there was. But still. GG equalized. And we do, in fact, see a G out of Sonic today. That's good. That's the 1-1. One -one. In an incredibly exciting game. So now it's going to be decision time. Uh, <clears throat> Aquaker is leading 1-0, by the way. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I almost forgot myself. Today's Mother's Day, so if you haven't thanked your mother yet today, if you haven't called or messaged her, don't forget, today's Mother's Day. So LR is our last map between the two. After this, one of them is out, doesn't have any chance anymore of moving on, of going to China. Here we go. Who's it gonna be? Rudan or Sonic? Of course, the one who wins here is far from through. I guess you could say that's where the challenge really starts. This is only round one of the lower bracket. After that we have... who's waiting actually? Let me check. Um, Hawk! is waiting in the next round. Greedy camp here first by both these players. Very standard. And it's gonna be a Demon Hunter play again. Now, Last Refuge is one of the maps where um, we see non-standard bear play um, fairly often. Much more so than on Amazonia. Let's see. Maybe we're gonna be receiving a different game. Three bear mirrors in a row. Um, it's not exactly what we're hoping for. No expansion, by the way, out of any of these players. It's of course very rare in this matchup, especially in Bear Mirror. This is something we saw yesterday from Foggy. I really like the Wisp here to see if the Demon Hunter should decide to be aggressive. So you can react accordingly. A player's forces are under attack. Alright. And here we go. Ah! 
Greater Invul versus... Uh, Persona gets taking a little longer. Probably not the best execution of this camp, leaving the Ogre alive for so long to cast Triple Bloodlust. That, well, that, that's a tiny thing, I guess. Tome of Experience, that's an important thing. This one was not only Strength plus 2, and this one is still up for grabs. Again, we have Circlets being purchased for Sonic. He seems to really like this. Oh, Tome of Experience, ding, ding, ding. And the Wisp may have seen it if Runa was fast. A player's forces are under attack. Oh my god. Sonic is going for a second Ancient of War, and the Wisps actually see it. They were just they were just sitting there. <laughs> for no apparent reason, they were sitting there and he sees it. So he knows about the Huntress play coming in very early. He found the Ring of Protection plus two. Unfortunate Ensnare onto his Archer means she will die. Gets the deny off at least. But the more important thing is killing her. Having a good numbers, a good number of archers against Huntresses standing behind the moon wells can be very helpful. Early Hunter's Hall here for Rudan. Might be going into Hunts himself. Yesterday, Foggy won here on LR versus Thomas G with that Huntress AP all in that I mentioned before. Sonic's taking quite a bit of damage here. But of course, he will be able to retreat back to his moon wells. That will take a while, however. All right, and we have hunts. Here we go. Double Ancient of War Huntresses. Thomas G crumbled under the pressure yesterday. What exactly is Sonic going to play here? Is he teching? No. Tier 1 only. Wisps in position? Not really. So APs don't seem to be too likely just yet. Of course, the Huntress is much better at dealing with heroes than archers are. And he's already popping the invul? What? Alright, seems like these hunter, these archer kills are very, very important. Oh, and I, th I think that he has a good reason for it. Look at all the stuff that's running into the main here. The archers, one of them will be dying. The other two might be surviving though. He's going for the Entangled Goldmine, are you kidding me? The Hunters is at least. Alright, two Archers remain alive. AP remains alive. The two Demon Hunters now, both of them in trouble. Oh, nice Shadow Melt, but I think they're still revealed. No, they're not. And he's actually blocking the way this building placement by Rudan. What in the hell? Going for the Keeper as well, by the way. And chasing down the Demon. Does he have boots? Oh, he has boots! He sold the TP, but he still has the boots. But good block coming from the Huntress. And he gets a sip from the Moonwell again. Now this Demon Hunter in trouble himself, but the boots, if he pays attention, should get him out of trouble. Oh, but these hunts, they're looking for the intercept. Are they fast enough? Oh, okay, he gives up the chase. And, alright, we have the tech coming for Rudan, deciding not to play it as all-in as Foggy did yesterday with the APs. Rudan's scared though, look at this. Already we have a Glaive Thrower out. A player's forces are under attack. And a second one even coming. He's tier 2 now, he could just be going... Alright, there's a lore. Of course, Dryads will be god tier against Huntresses. But Sonic is getting some decent creeping done now, <laughs> failing to pick up the claws. <laughs> All right, there we go. Level 3 for him now. But he has the entangle. Where's the keeper? There it is. Needs to be careful though not to get surrounded. TP missing, no staff yet. Big army here. 
for Sonic at 40 supply. Only 34 for Rudan. But he's getting a lot of damage onto this demon. Good blocks coming out from these hunters. is also threatening the surround. And yeah, Ancient of Lore number one done. Number two soon to be done. And now we have Dryads. And Dryads changed the face of this game entirely. Once this demon hunter is healed up again and he has a staff, he can be playing much more freely. But his moon juice is looking really bad. It's looking really, really bad. It just turned daytime and he's already out. More dryads and bears are coming, but it's gonna be a while before we have Riju. Sonic on the other side. His moon juice is, well, not great, but... Alright, it's gonna be basically gone now as well. Tinker! Alright. Town is under siege. Big commitment now towards the push in the end. Do we have Ancients of Wind somewhere? No. Ancients of Lore, and we have Glaives coming in for Sonic. But with the Entangle, Focus Fire of the Dryads taking out a few of these Huntresses is so easy. And we already have two Glaives here for Rudan. Has to keep them alive, however. He doesn't have another Ancient of War. AP coming up way in the back. But I don't think Sonic was expecting these uh, Glaive Throwers. And of course they deal pretty good damage, once targets are stationary. Oh, the hero archer. No. Going for the glaive throws here with the invul. It's a big commitment, but he gets it, and with that he has the range advantage now. Losing more and more of his archers, however. Oh, almost finding himself in a surround on the demon. But I think there should be a staff now. Yes, there is. This is a really cool base layout for Rudan, but also slightly problematic because everything is blocking itself here. But still, he's getting so many of these are of these huntresses. Heal potion still available on him, using it right now. The staff will always be there. The huntresses? I mean the dryads now falling pretty quickly for Rudan. Probably an overextension we saw right there. Uh-oh. The demon. Will he get the glaive in time? Yes, but now the keeper! He's trapped, he's dead! But he was only level 1, so he will be back sort of soon. But we said before, these glaives should stay alive, but the first one died right now. And he's diving deep for the second kill. Diving very deep. Oh, that's, I think that's a little too deep, my friend. Level 2 for the Tinker now. Suddenly he's getting so much experience from all these dryads. Alright, I may have spoken too soon. This game is not over. Bear's coming out now, but of course they don't have Master. Where's the Keeper? He didn't remake the Keeper! He did not retrain the Keeper. Are you kidding me? Only now. Has to repair this. Quickly! I don't think it's enough though. But the heroes, the heroes are the big issue. He's forcing the TP out. The Tinker will... Oh, nice block from the Glaive. Keeps the Tinker alive. That was really cool by Sonic. And he's remaking the altar. Okay. Now the issue is healing up. How does Sonic heal up? Everything is so low for him. Most importantly, the heroes. Oh, he denies him. That's pretty cool. It's also a level 2 hero though, so it's not like as fast or cheap as a level 1 hero. Does he have a shop? No shop for Sonic. No heal potions. And Rudan keeps creeping. He bought a dust, by the way. I guess it's still left over from the early game. Interesting game. Still a very big army by Sonic with four glaive throwers now. It's not something we see every day. Alright, definitely the best map we've had so far. No boring bear mirror this time. Rudan, by the way, not going to tier 3. Too afraid of uh, more pressure, I guess. Level 4 now for Sonic. He has a Oh, the Zeppelin. I love the Zeppelin. That's so good. So smart. Very 
little that uh, Rudan has against it. Well, he has a couple of Dryads, but we've seen them melt before against the Glaze. Almost denies that creep there with the Ancient Protector. Keeper is finally back. Oh, Mountain Giants! Oh, I missed it! Damn! A player's forces are under attack. We have the first Mountain Giant, ladies and gentlemen. But he doesn't have the tier 3 upgrades yet, so he's much worse than we usually know him to be. So he just keeps on creeping. Healing wards certainly helpful with that. Ooh, I love the Scourge Bone Chimes. The Steam Hunter adds so much sustain for him. Rudan coming in, but once again, this is looking like a mighty small army. And finally, we do have the shop coming up for, for Sonic. Taunt being used by the Mountain Giant. He is taking decent damage here, remember, no resistant skin. Second Mountain Giant is on its way. Wisp scouting here for an expansion, but uh, no such thing. Five, six, no, five Glaive Throwers and a bunch of mercenaries. Great choke here for Sonic, so hard for Rudan to move in. One more Riju is ready. And uses it on the demon. 59 supply now for Sonic. Rudan needs time. Needs time for his tier 3 for his upgrades. But is he gonna have the time? These glaives may not give him much time. And here we go. Zeppelin play again. Getting the demon into position, who's taking a fair chunk of damage here, but he's also so tanky. So damn tanky. This demon hunter for Sonic. And it's looking good for him. Looking good for the Ukrainian. Taking out the Ancient of Lore with a bear in production. Everything is hurt here for Rudan. The Ogre Mauler is gonna die, but I mean he did his job. He tanked as much as he could. The Keeper has the Orb of Venom now. But it's so much range damage, so much piercing and siege damage. From afar. This might be too much. This might just be too much. Everything is falling apart for Rudan. 35 supply only. He's losing these expensive, expensive units. Only the heroes basically left. And Sonic still has so much. Still has so damn much with a level 5 Demon Hunter as well. The bears splatter into pieces. The Demon Hunter might not be getting saved. Yes, he will actually with a staff. But what is left for Rudan? Barely anything is what. And these glaives putting up so much pressure towards the main. He gets a berserker here, but he needs so much more. So much more. I think that was a heal throw that we saw being used right there. Really great Zeppelin play. That Zeppelin is so amazing. 30 supply versus 51. And the Demon Hunter. Keeps on getting slowed, keeps on getting controlled. The shop is down. He might be able to find the kill here. Finally! Oh my god, he loads him in with like 2 HP. And the demon. The glaives might finish the job. I think it is. I think it's time. I think it's time to call it. Everything is dying. GG. Out of Rudan and Sonic moves on. Taking out the Serbian prince. And next round he will meet. Hawk. All right, so it seems that um, Walkworker has defeated Walter. Yeah, um, 
Hawkwalker 1. That's of course uh, not too, too surprising. So we take a look at the grid now. And this is what it looks like. Uh, Thomas G, unfortunately, not able to play as it seems. So he's forfeiting his match, bringing Orkworker into losers round three, where he will be waiting. And our next match is going to be Hawk versus Sonic. And then we're going to be moving along through this lower bracket. Um, we had a resub, by the way, by Peebo Frag resubbing for nine months. Thank you so much, man. Oh, Hawk isn't here yet. Oh, okay. Um, all right, so Hawk's game is starting a little sooner than we were anticipating because it was supposed to be Thomas G's game first, but he's forfeiting. So now we're gonna have Hawk's game sooner. So it's gonna take a little while until he's here. All right, so we go into a small break again. As Hawk is coming back to his computer, and then we have Sonic vs. Hawk to figure out who gets to play Walkworker in the next round. It's still about uh, GCS, of course. Happy has already qualified. Who is following him in second place? Stay tuned, and you'll find out. 